I'm CW5 Jim Houghton with the Tennessee National Guard, a full-time maintenance officer for the facility in Smyrna, Tennessee. And these are the reasons that condition-based maintenance benefits us out in the field. Through, through a series of monitors and sensors, an accelerometer attached to a component, we're able to monitor the vibration levels of the components on a normal operating basis and thus as the readings would increase, it would alert us to the fact that the component may be failing internally. And then once, once you complete your flight mission day, you'll remove the data transfer module from the aircraft, you'll connect it to your ground station, downloading all your flight data onto your computer, which in this example has one elevated reading of a component that is inter failing internally or may need a minor adjustment due to a rotor balance or an imbalance condition. But through this, since it's monitored on a fully full-time basis, we're able to make on-spot corrections as soon as the aircraft returns from a mission, thus reducing the vibration level, releasing the aircraft back out into the fleet to complete another mission day. This system also has been very successful in reducing the downtime on the aircraft because we are able to identify the component prior to failure, therefore the, the component is not failing at a critical time in the middle of the mission, we are able to identify a prior failure, thus keeping the aircraft back up to perform its mission and combat more home, site, home state missions as required.